Welcome to More Than Organized Monday. I'm Miriam, and today we're going to talk about how to make things better for next time. Uh, often there is just one thing we can do that will move whatever we're working on forward next time we work on it. And I got this concept, um, well, a couple things. It's one of my basic rules of order. These are some rules that I have followed um, since I first started getting organized that help me stay organized. And I'll be talking more about my rules of order in the coming months. But I then read a book called The One Thing by Gary Keeler and I think it's Jay Passman. Um, and they talk about how to set up systems in your business and routines that help you go farther every time you work on something, get more efficient, more effective. And it's the same concept, really. Um, and it's basically anytime you work on anything, make it better for next time. So as long as you have all your gear and equipment out, you might as well do one more step to make it better for next time. And that can look a lot of different ways. It can be doing one more step so that you don't have to do it next time. It can look like batching when you work on several things in a row because your brain's in the right gear. Um, I do that for my um, writing. A lot of the time I will write two or three blog posts and one will be in finish mode, one will be in draft mode, and one will be in just research mode. And I do all three of them together. And the next time I start a new one, complete a middle one and, and post a, a third one. And it keeps things moving um, quickly and easily. Um, but there's also, you know, in addition to one more step, sometimes it's something simple like removing the outer packaging, like I talked about last week, so that next time you go to grab that, um, bottle of water, you're not fighting with the plastic. You're just grabbing a bottle. Um, it could be something along the lines of, um, documenting a process or a procedure that you use to do the thing this time so that next time you have a great checklist or a delegation list to pass it off to someone else um, or a change you make in documentation. So most of you know I've had a, a few issues with um, the uh, reels in or going live in Instagram. It's not always working and so every week when it doesn't work, I do a little bit more research and figure out what went wrong, what might be the cause. And then the next time I try it again and I've already done the research. So hopefully it looks like it's actually working today. I'm hoping it will stick. So, um, but I will document what I did today to see if that's the ticket, right? It's making it just a little better. Um, it might look something like throwing away an extra piece that's not needed or rewriting that note from the post-it note into the processes or throwing out the pen that doesn't write, you know, all those little things, adding a thing to the grocery list so that you can pick it up at the grocery store when you're out of an ingredient. It might be just changing the placement of something. I used to keep my microphone in a bin in a drawer and it was really hard to get at. And now I keep my microphone in a box uh, that's easy. It's on the top shelf. So it's easy for me to reach in and, and grab it out and it's hidden during the week. But when I pull it out to do recordings, it's right here and ready to go. Um, but I used to have to kind of root around for all the stuff that I would use to set up any time I broadcast. And it, it would often be a little bit of a tangle of cords. And so now there's a cord holder, there's the box that the microphone and the cord goes in. There's the um, tripod that holds my iPad so I can see my notes. Um, it's all in the same spot. So when I go to do um, these lives on Monday or if I'm recording a class or something else, it's all right there and I can grab it easily. Um, so that's kind of one of the, the other pieces of just what can you do to make it easier? How can you bring the things you need to do the thing together or eliminate all the excess pieces of it? So next time you do it, it works. It could be the packaging. It could be the, the placement. It could be, um, you know, the actual steps in the process. In other words, it's the actual process, things, and the system you use to create the things you want to create. Whatever it is, if it's a personal system like cooking dinner or a business system like setting yourself up to broadcast, that's when you try to make things easier for next time. Is there something you can do to anticipate a problem that comes up regularly so that you can solve it in the moment 
seemingly solve it in the moment. He might have just solved it already. But these little tweaks and adjustments really add up over time. Imagine saving just one minute every time you do something. That's a huge amount of savings over the course of a year. It's also savings of, of money, potentially, and energy and frustration, right? Frustration can take us out for way too long. It's a bigger interruption than it needs to be. And that's why doing it this way by making each thing just a little bit easier for next time means you build confidence into it. And that allows you to feel great next time you do the thing. You get to feel like you solved the problem. You're on top of it. You get to reflect on how great it is that you anticipated the issues that might come up and have a plan for solving them in the moment. That's why getting organized is such a powerful tool in helping build your self-confidence, your self-worth, um, and making you feel like you can you can be on top of other things in your life as well. It's that little control for the greater freedom control that you're actually looking for. So I will see you next week. In the meantime, of course, don't forget to like, follow, tell all your friends and share the information you get here at More Than Organized Mondays. And I will see you next week. In the meantime, have a delightful day.